Hi everyone. We're supposed to come up with a domain and range of this relation here, and again, it's a relation, not a function, because if I draw a vertical line through that, I'm only I'm going to hit sorry, I'm going to hit the thing twice, okay? And as long as that happens even once, it's it's not a it's not a function. Let's take a quick look at the domain. It's all values of x such that well, as I slide along the x-axis, the first time I encounter this function is at negative three, and I and I do encounter it there. So negative three, and then I get the function, okay, as I go along here, but it stops at one. There's nothing beyond that. It does exist at one. There is a point there at one, but it, it doesn't go beyond that. So the domain is going to be all values from negative three out to one. And in interval notation, that will be negative three to one with hard brackets to include that it's a closed interval. We're including the endpoints. My range will be quite similar. Uh, but this time here, uh, we don't encounter, as we slide up the y-axis, we don't encounter the function until negative 3. And then we are riding over the function. We've got the function until we get to 4, in which case we lose it again. So this goes from negative 3 up to 4, including the endpoints. And so using interval notation, that's hard brackets. That'll be negative 3, comma 4, hard brackets to show a closed interval.